Here are a few animals with the weirdest features. Number nine, gulper eel. Also known as the pelican eel or the umbrella mouth gulper, the gulper eel is one of those mysterious sea creatures that's rarely seen by anyone. But from what we've seen, this thing is super weird. Their most defining characteristic is their abnormally large mouth. With a loosely hinged jaw and a mouth that's bigger than the rest of their body, gulper eels can swallow fish much larger than themselves. So yeah, when they're hungry and see something tasty, they literally unhinge their jaws and swallow the thing whole. They also have these specially designed gills in their body that shoots out all of the water they swallow whenever they're swimming around swallowing fish. And as if their jaw unhinging skills weren't already crazy enough, they also have these long whip-like tails. They use these long tails to help them swim, of course, but they also have another purpose. At the end of their tail, they have this cool little organ, which for the sake of reference is pretty much like a tentacle. This organ can give off orangish red flashes that marine biologists think is used to lure potential prey within their proximity. Yeah, don't go for the flashing lights in the deep sea. Number eight, wood frogs. Conventional wisdom tells you that freezing your body for a long time isn't gonna be something good. Well, don't tell that to wood frogs. During the harsh winter months in Alaska, these little amphibians survive by freezing their bodies when the temperatures get too cold for them to cope. Even more mind-blowing is that their heart stops beating and their blood stops flowing. Of course, they do get revived when conditions are much better for their survival. What happens is that they can freeze for a while and then thaw out once the temperature rises above freezing. Wood frogs have a lot of glucose in their body and researchers think that it's this feature that lets them do their little trick, even after much of the water in their body turns to ice. So if you ever find yourself hiking in the Alaskan wilderness or Arctic Circle and you see a frozen frog, chances are it's just a frog that's still alive. Number seven, blanket octopus. Just by looking at a blanket octopus, you can easily tell that this is an interesting creature. Obviously, their name comes from the big transparent webs that the females have. However, their webs, while pretty interesting in and of themselves, isn't the reason why they're on this list. They have what has to be one of the strangest, twisted, yet awesome defense mechanisms in all of nature. They're immune to the venom of the Portuguese man of war. Because they're immune, they'll swim up to these deep sea terrors, rip off their lethal tentacles, and use those tentacles as a weapon. They use these tentacles to hunt for food and also to fend off predators. I'm not sure if I can get much cooler than that. In case they don't have any tentacles, they can also expand their webs when they feel threatened in order to trick a predator into thinking they're much bigger than they actually are. The craziness doesn't stop there. The males are way smaller than the females. That doesn't mean they don't know how to romance the ladies, though. During mating season, a male blanket octopus swims up to a prospective female octopus and just sticks his arm into her, since their arm stores sperm. Once he's injected his sperm carrying arm inside of her, he breaks it off his body and then just swims away. The female can then use the sperm if she feels like it. No pressure or anything. The guy you make it after mating, if you want to call it that, not sure why any male blanket octopus signs up for this, but hey, it definitely happens. Number six, giraffe weevil. Found on the island country of Madagascar off the east coast of Africa, the giraffe weevil stirs up some interesting thoughts with its name. I mean, what could be more different than a weevil, which is a type of beetle and a giraffe, the tallest living animal on earth. Well, once you take a look at them, you realize what they have in common. Giraffe weevils have very small bodies with males reaching a whopping two centimeters long. Their necks, however, are often two to three times longer than the rest of their bodies. As is often the case with nature, a lot of their existence centers around mating season. What I'm getting at here is that those long necks of theirs can be used by males to win the affection of a female during mating season. If two males are interested in the same female giraffe weevil, they'll more or less have a fight with their abnormally long necks and the winner gets bragging rights and the right to sow his wild oats with the female, who in turn rolls a leaf tube nest and lays a single egg. Aside from their funky looking necks, giraffe weevils also have distinctive bright red wings that cover their bodies. 
Yeah, definitely one of nature's more bizarre and underappreciated creatures. Number five, alpaca. Alpacas are similar to llamas and are even confused with them at times. Found in South America, these domesticated animals are usually kept by farmers to graze farmland and for their fiber, which is similar to sheep's wool. However, alpaca wool is warmer, not prickly, and is hypoallergenic. The fiber is naturally water repellent and difficult to ignite. Not only do alpacas look pretty odd, but they also act pretty odd. They can be very aggressive when they feel threatened. As a herd, they'll gang up on would-be predators such as coyotes or foxes. In fact, some farmers even employ them to protect their sheep. Their most interesting behavior has to be their spitting. Their spit can be a mixture that sometimes contains only air and a little saliva, or it can be their acidic stomach content. Spitting is usually reserved for other alpacas, but an alpaca will also occasionally spit at humans. Alpacas spit for several reasons. A uh, female alpaca spits when she knows she's not interested in a male alpaca. Both genders of alpaca keep others away from their food or anything they're interested in. Spitting also happens when an alpaca is trying to keep anything away. But there are also those alpacas that will spit just to spit whenever they feel like it. I guess spitting is life. Aside from spitting, alpacas will occasionally get into fights with each other. Guess what's the worst tactic they use? They've been observed biting the testicles of other alpacas. Yeah, I bet a lot less fights would happen with us if there were humans out there that use that tactic. Number four, tree stump spider. If you're not into spiders, it's time to look away. Like many of the world's dangerous animals, the tree stump spider can be found in Australia, although there are also some species living in Southeast Asia in places such as Singapore. These spiders are nocturnal and spend their days perched on vegetation, pretty much entirely camouflaged into their surroundings. They're so good at hiding in plain sight that if they were sitting on some bark, you probably wouldn't even see them. They're able to disguise themselves as a piece of wood, bark, or twig in order to avoid becoming the meal of someone higher up on the food chain. Being very well camouflaged, they have an interesting way of capturing prey. Instead of making a web that captures prey the old-fashioned spider way, they lay a light coating of threads over an area of tree bark. They then just wait hidden in plain sight. Once their prey strays over the area they cover, they basically spin their silk on the prey. When their prey has been thoroughly immobilized, they then go to town. Number three, leatherback sea turtle. Have you guys ever seen inside a leatherback sea turtle's mouth? When most people first look inside the mouth of this turtle, they're usually amazed by the rows and rows of sharp teeth that don't look anything we'd imagine in a turtle's mouth. It's a good thing we're not jellyfish, which is by far a leatherback's favorite meal. All of those scary looking teeth allow these turtles to catch their prey and lock them in their jaws once they have them. Oddly enough, despite teeth that look like they could tear through just about anything, leatherbacks really can't handle much of anything else aside from jellyfish. Supposedly, if they were to take a bite of, say, uh, a human hand, it would actually do more damage to their teeth than to that person's hand. Aside from having rows of teeth, leatherback turtles grow to pretty impressive sizes as well reaching lengths of up to seven feet long and weighing as much as 2,000 pounds. Leatherbacks are the largest living turtles and the fourth largest reptile on Earth. The largest being our old friend, the saltwater crocodile. Crocodiles are also own second and third place on that list. Leatherbacks and their ancestors have been around for around 110 million years, and unfortunately, their population is now in steep decline. This is largely because of human activity since these turtles have few natural predators. Occasionally they'll be picked off by a tiger shark or killer whale and sometimes even dogs and raccoons eat their eggs. Number two, baby scenarius mourner. If you're familiar with X-Men, then you probably know about Mystique, the shape-shifting supervillain who can mimic other characters with pristine accuracy. Her abilities are a real-world trait practiced by real animals in nature. One example is the scenarius mourner. These birds can disguise themselves as poisonous caterpillars to fake out would-be predators. This is a pretty useful skill for these birds for a number of reasons. First off, it's an evolutionary trait and one that seems ingrained into their DNA, so they're born with the ability to do this. And since it takes them 20 days to learn to fly, disguising themselves as toxic caterpillars is a pretty useful trait to avoid being eaten in those first three weeks of life. 
In fact, it's pretty much only the babies who employ this hide-and-seek tactic. And, as if that weren't crafty enough, they can also mimic the behavior of snakes. So, for those predators who aren't spooked by a caterpillar, they may also think they're dealing with a fearsome snake. Found in the tropical lowlands of Bolivia, Brazil, Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, and other regions in South America, these little birdies certainly have a lot of potential predators to contend with. Number 1. Blotched Upside Down Catfish If you're always doing something upside down and it's normal to you, doesn't that mean you're actually right side up? That's the argument I have for the blotched upside down catfish. Their name says it all. They're part of the catfish family and they swim upside down. Swimming upside down is just their normal thing. One theory for their unusual behavior is that it's a feeding strategy. In the wild, these catfish often graze on the undersides of submerged branches and logs, and swimming upside down makes getting to the bottom easier. A different theory suggests that swimming upside down makes aquatic surface respiration more efficient. Reaching sizes of only 3 to 4 inches, they're the smallest member of the catfish family and are considered dwarf catfish. Their coloration is the opposite of other fish. The underside of their body is darker, which helps camouflage them when they swim upside down. However, these unique fish sometimes swim like the rest of the fish and when they graze the bottom of an aquarium, which brings me to my next point. They've long been admired by humans and are staples in many home aquariums. In fact, people have been fascinated by them for hundreds and hundreds of years. This is evident by the fact that they've been found in ancient Egyptian art. Here's what's next. Well, they can run up to 35 miles per hour and can jump up to 25 feet forward and 6 feet up in the air. That jumping ability places these guys at the top of the list of animals in terms of jumping ability. Just look at these guys. They look like they hit the gym 5 days a week. Like a lot of other animals, male red kangaroos will fight each other over the...